Good morning. Welcome to Relax and Paint with Donna Dewberry. I am right out of my, I came out of my bed in my pajamas, and but I thought to show you my painted, uh, one of my students painted this for me. How fun is that? And she stenciled on it. And I was thinking, I could show you how to do fabrics and do a quick and easy t-shirt if that's what you want, but you have to ask for it. So I'll wait and see how many you would really like to see. I, I do Ikea pillows a lot and regular t-shirts and we have fun doing them. So let me know. And I think I can do something about it if you let me know. So today we're doing scroll work and the scrolls is a skill. It's kind of like a comma stroke. I use flat brushes. I've used round brushes. I've used two number two script liners. You can turn the scroll work into borders, paint on little jewelry. I started with metallics on furniture. And so what I want you to see is how fun you can even make flowers and leaves out of these little strokes that we learned today. Okay, so I'm ready to get started. Are you? We're going to relax and paint today and I'm going to go slow so that we, in our amount of time here, that we can learn some new strokes that you can practice and show us on the Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group on Facebook. What you're, how you're practicing and what's, what, what you're loving. A bunch of you put the heart wreaths on and other things. And I did some gnomes. I'm excited to see how the gnome turns out. So come join us. We're trying to hit 100,000 viewers, subscribers, and we're right at 80,000. So thank you for helping that come true. Let's start. Um, I'm going to go to the overhead and I have some paint. I've already been painting with a little bit today. So I'm going to use my paint and it's more, it does it. You can even use all white if you want, but I'm going to use some of the colors I already have out here. Now I tend to really like my flat brushes. Okay, and there's different size flat brushes from an 8 to, to a 10 to a 12. This 8 and 10. I think I'll probably use those. I will use a script liner to show you some work with that. You can use the round brush. I have a round and a filbert. And all of those are good. Here's a filbert. The filbert's still hard because I don't use it a lot. I really, really like my flat brushes and that's what I end up using more. Okay, so we're using multi-surface paint and I'm gonna start by showing you, let's start with, what, what size did I just tell you this? This is an eight. Let's start with an eight. And actually, I should have fresh paint because I want you to see how we're picking it up, okay? So if we're using, I'll give you a chance to get some white. So we're gonna put some fresh white. And let's do some blues on this, on this pink background. That'll look good. Blue and white makes it really pretty. I can also, there's all kinds of colors we can add in there. Mm. I'll show you about adding. Let's do some greens too so you can see. Sorry, I just really woke you up. <laughs> I want you to be relaxed, not irritated, Donna. <laughs> all right. So let me show you what we're going to do. I'm going to pick up white. I dampened this brush and laid it on the paper towel. So I dampen, lay it on the paper towel. Then I'm ready. I don't want any water there and no medium. So I grab some white on the edge of the puddle and I'm going to grab some blue. All right. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to show you that I'm going to start at an angle so a little bit closer. I start at an angle. I'm pushing down and then I'm going to stand up to the side. Now, 
if I push down more at the angle and then stand up, then it doesn't have such a flat edge. You can still go back over this. And stroke it, okay? So I'm going to move this here so you can see me grab it each time. All right, so I'm grabbing white and grabbing blue on the flat of the brush. That's not usually what you see me do. So let me show you there again. Let's get ahead of me and go back so I'm not in front of it. I can just stand up on the chisel and push down. All right. So you can, just like we do a daisy, we can stand up and pull, all right? And you can just use white. Just white looks really good too, especially if you're on glass. All right, so I want you to see that I'm gonna push and stand up, get more paint. Now I'm gonna go inside here and stand up and again, and stand up all right now one thing i like to show you that's going to help you when you're doing scroll work where's my pencil i just had it <laughs> i'm losing it i just had my pencil oh here it is okay so one thing that helps us with scroll work is if we have an oval and i can actually do three ovals, one, two, three. And it's a good way to practice how we're gonna do the borders, a border, okay? Or scrolling, I've scrolled with a three quarter inch brush doing the same strokes and I've done it around my dining room. It was really pretty with reds and golds. All right, so I'm gonna start up here and if I push down and I come along here. Now, my finger is steady in me, my little finger. So I grab blue and white. I'm gonna come inside here again, and inside here again. All right. Now I can take this and do a couple of little ones here. It depends on what you want your border to look like. Then I wanna come on this side so after I'm putting it down and making pressure, so look, pressure and lift, pressure and lift. Now I like you to practice. I'm gonna put a couple little ones here. I like you to practice by putting your pressure down, pressure, and then take your little finger and pull as you lift the brush. All right, so let's do that again. Push and lift. Okay, now what I like to show you is what people tend to do. If you're doing this wrong, this is what people are doing. They lay the brush flat and then they go like this. All right, or they do it like this and they do the same thing all the way around. So see how heavy this is and they don't stand up. All right, so this is wrong and this is wrong. So this is what I need you to practice. I need you to practice pressure and lift like you're doing a comma. Pressure gives us a fullness, lift to a point. All right, so now what I'd like to show you is that we can come right along here. And see all the streaks? Look at the streaks in the color. See how fun that is? So I just got white on one side, blue on the other side. And I can come along this side even. And I'm continuing to come onto that oval. I can push here pull around. Isn't that kind of fun? Now I would reverse that and do this on the other side. So this is going to help you. It's a little practice. I have skill builders on my site on onestart.com 
and they help you as a whole set. I send you a manual and everything. And it, the whole thing is that you're doing these skill builder strokes. I did this one different so I can go back and do this one, like the top one. See, I was talking to y'all, not paying attention. So I did this one different so I can just do, repeat this one here. So you have a pattern going. And this is nice. I, I've done it around um, chair wheel or uh, a border, small with small brushes on a border on a piece of furniture I've done. Okay, so listen, it's easy for me to do it because I penciled it. Do you see that? And then I'm going to go back to here. I need to come over more. There you go. And push and come on this side and this side. All right, so isn't that kind of fun? Now, I take a shape of something like to make my circles like and make circles around it or if I do ovals I just cut out a template so that all of the oval shapes are the same. Now I did take a script liner and I have round brushes too guys where you're taking the round brush. In fact I'll show you real quick. Now this is how you load the round brush. You're going to lay it in, turn it totally over and keep picking up on that side. Okay, so now watch this. I'm going to push. And it's supposed to be easier to pick up. Push so it's big. And it gives you more of a round. All right, and then this side. I personally, people do daisies with the round brush too. I personally am used to always using the flats, but I have to make myself. It's good. All right, so I'm going to take my two script liner and I'm going to come here and I'm going to get an inky, inky puddle. See how I'm laying it down? Then I roll it. I roll out of here and then I have paint to paint with. I can also streak it through the white. All right, so I have taken and I push, and I come all the way around. Let's do this over here. I can push down and come around. See how that looks? So I go into the blue, inky, and then I straight through the white. And I'm here and I bring it all the way around. You can also do some pretty work pulling this all in together. Let's see what I do here. Just kind of have a good time with it. And then I'm going to bring this around here. Okay, now you can also take the handle of your brush. Uh, maybe not that color. I'll do the white. And then I dot, 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 dot. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so it's just kind of fun. I want to just show you before our time's over. I want to show you how to make this into a leaf. And I do this, especially when I'm doing like painting jeans, something that's more, a little bit more difficult. Okay, so if I'm pulling a leaf this way, maybe in a leaf this way. Okay. I'm going 
going to pick up my green and grab white. Okay, so I can take, let's do it up here. I can take right here and push down and do a center. I'm going to go back and get more white and more green. And I'm going to push and pull, push and pull all the way down on one side and all the way down on the other side. All right, so then I clean it up in the middle. All right, so that is one way. I don't think y'all can see it as well. I just added a little bit of blue. Push, left, push, left, push, left. Okay, but let me show you. That's one way. Okay, so the other way, I'd like to turn this and I'm gonna grab the green and do the other side a little bit of blue just so it stands out better. I come right here and this is gonna be the tip of the leaf. So I come right here and I push down and I stand up and what I want you to see is that this looks like a mustache. This is what I do on my jeans a lot. Okay, so now look, I'm going to go all the way down the stem, pulling this, like laying the brush, standing up to a point, because you want it to end up on a point. Okay, let me grab some more blue. Green and blue, then I keep coming down, keep coming down, and then the last thing I do is a point. So let me come here and do blue again so you see it. So like push left. So practice that leaf. That makes an easy, it's still a stroke leaf, but it's not my traditional leaf. And, but when you're on pants, um, when you want a, a tough, um, tough material, I just want to show you what I'm saying, is if I did my traditional stroking, I go like this, you can't do this. I'm sorry. Oh, my phone's already working this morning. I thought we were asleep. Somebody's up early calling me. See that right there? That doesn't happen easy on your pants, on fabrics. So I've done these on fabrics and it looks good. All right. Go practice stroke work. Scrolls, commas. Try it with a round. Try it with a flat. Have a good time. All right, come back and watch this after you've tried it and do it again. Thank you guys. Bye.